Oh, yeah, let's go. I fucking punch you in the face, you big dick. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Okay, maybe maybe that's not the right way to be going about doing that. Oh, I got my ammo back. Yeah, you're about to get beamed. Damn. Roscafire, you just got absolutely annihilated. Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you face back to a brand new Call of Duty Zombies video. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Explosion, explosion. Huzzah, he's back. I know you guys are going to be like, oh, he's back. You've been gone for another bloody month. Where have you been? Listen, I've been taking care of stuff in real life, all right? I'm doing like a new project, which I don't even know if I can go into details on yet. But I'm just going to kind of spoil it and say, if you guys have followed me over like the past like nine years, you would know I bought a house, did it up. And this is the house I'm currently in now. Well, I'm basically starting a new project and I'm filming and vlogging the whole process. So if you want to follow along with it, links down in the description. Go and subscribe to my vlogging channel and you can stay up to date with what's going on. It's going to be quite exciting and I'm just really stoked to share it with you guys. But alas, Call of Duty Zombie Time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, wow, wow, we wow. We have got a brand new tactical rifle, Echo, being the Carve Point 2. I put a scope on it because I just felt like putting a scope on it. I don't, I don't know why. Um, just so I can get a bit more accuracy across the map. Now, it's a three burst and it is a bit of a beamer. I'm not even going to lie. It only does 39 damage, like, on, like, the toes and the dicks. Um, which, you know, no, nobody's going to appreciate that amount of damage. But them headshots, if you're going for those headshots, man, if you can actually aim, pretty consistent. It's pretty good. And at range, it holds up pretty good as well. Rate of fire. It's kind of sweet, kind of nice. It reminds me very much of, is it the, G was it the G G8 or G11? I can't remember. It's one of them. It's like a three burst from one of the previous Black Ops ones. Uh, but yeah, proper reminds me of that. Like, very vibey. So it makes me think, and I've not pack a punched it before, if when we pack a punch it, will it be fully automatic? Because I'm pretty sure the previous one was, and it had a really, like, iconic sound. So we'll have to see. Now, before we continue reviewing all this, can I um, put a public message out to Treyarch? Why does this guy... Why does this guy make such sexual noises? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to talk about that one, Triat, because um, Chief called, and that is not it. If I'm reading the statistics correctly right now, oh, actually, I'm still being able to three burst the heads off if all three bullets land, because the heads explode. How cute of them! If you're gonna try and kill them by shooting them in the body. It's gonna take a, it's gonna take a long ass time. So with this review, I'm not really gonna take you know like the most ultimate amount of time to see when it stops working. Like we're seeing it now. In the next round, it's not gonna be a three burst headshot. So already at round four, uh, go, well going into round five, we're probably gonna want to upgrade it. Usually when it comes to like my perk setup on this game, I, I like the whole Joe, quick revive, you know, by doing like the Easter egg and everything. But I I genuinely think I need sleight of hand ASAP. Because it's starting to take a lot of bullets to kill these guys. And a lot of reloading comes with that exact statement. So, because it's taking for... Oh, look. Oh. Well, that changed, that changed, that kind of changes everything. I, hey, listen. The zombie gods are listening. But yeah, um, the whole reloading thing is taking a long ass time. To the point where I think priority is a sleight of hand. Hey, we got our pack of punch machine back on. Oh man, I tell you what, it feels like it's been a while. A while since I've done that. Now, we will do the Easter egg and everything. But first, like I said, we're going to need an upgrade. So, yeah, a million headshots for this. We're going to go for a tier 2 damage upgrade on this bad boy. All right. Okay. 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 That damage definitely feels a little bit more saucier. Yeah. But I'm not going any further without this. I refuse. I have had in my belly. Okay. Now, how fast do we reload? Why did, why does that not even feel much? What? I swear that doesn't even feel that much faster. All right. Yep. That is a bit of an upgrade. This thing's a headshot fiend. Damn. Oof. You know what? I could just like wait before I pack a punch it, but I want to be just absolutely beaming through these Z's. So we're going to go for a pack of punch already. It's called the Carve 2. I think it's going to be called the the, the the meat carver. I was wrong. It's the carvomatic. Is it automatic? Observing a high 
It's called the Carvomatic Treyarch. How is this not fully automatic? I, I genuinely do not understand how this is not fully automatic. But what I can say, it's a six burst like the M16. Hell mofo, yeah. Yo. Hey, I'm just saying, we, we, we beamed him then. Ooh. Reload. 60 round mag. We've got a, su a suppressor and some pretty basic scope. I'm liking this though. With different attachments on it. It's feeling a lot more beamy. I just wish I think I had, the, was it, the Raider stock? So, you know, you aim down sight and walk fast because this is me. Look how slow I'm walking. Probably would help if I had stamina up actually with that said, but yeah, it, it, uh, right now, the aim down sight firing speed with this gun, very slow. Very slow. We're dropping these zombies, like, and a one burst headshot is absolutely great. And if anything, I actually prefer the sound of this gun with a silencer on it. Like, it sounds good, man. You want the silencers on, you know, for, you know, increased drops and stuff like that, but yeah. Well, let's go for a tier three damage. Hell motherfucking yeah! Okay, my fat ass is sick of walking so slow. Like, look how actually insanely slow you walk with that. That's ridiculous. If I put this on, will I be able to aim down sight and walk fast? I can't, can't quite remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All right, so it was it was stamina if I needed, not so much like an effect on the gun. All right, at least I can be a bit more fair with uh, reviewing this thing now. Yeah, that, that is so much better. God, if this was, the, was this how OG zombies used to work? If you aim down sight without a scope, you would walk at such a that slow speed. Because look at the difference that makes, man. Super guns alley fast like this. Strafing backwards as well. Oh, you got to give it to Treyarch. Not all the perks in this game are good, but the upgrades to certain perks that they actually introduced, pretty damn good. All right, we got uh, we got our next big boy. How fast are we going to kill him? Okay, I've run out of ammo already. I will say, I do see myself piling through the ammo pretty quick. Because like the M16, you can have... A... Wow. Okay, Um, I didn't even have time to like fully explain what I wanted to say then. We killed him so fast. Wow. All right, can you stop? We absolutely beamed him. Oh, you got to look. You've just got... Oh, I just realized. I do not have Jug. <laughs> ah! I don't have Jug. <laughs> oh, quick revive. And I'm just out here YOLOing these bosses like no tomorrow. Come on, Ed. I'm scared of no ghost. Come on. You big nerds. See? I was, I was scared of anything then. All right. I did not mean to pop that ability. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? Not a clue. Should we go and uh, back punch it again? Yo, camo looks good on this thing. Okay, let's go with that. Let's spin the weapon. Okay, 36. Back to 60. Yeah. Disappointed. Have I got a faster... I think I might have a faster rate of fire barrel on it. Feels like it. It almost sounds like it. Do it again. Nope. Why am I only getting 30? Oh, 88. Ooh. That's the faster rate of fire barrel, that. Listen to it. Ooh. At least we got 88 rounds now. And we're firing six shots at a time. Daniel of the Dams. I I'm just convinced the reload time on this gun is so damn slow. Like, it almost to the point where it makes me feel like the gun's not viable to use because it's so slow. Oh, yeah, let's go. I fucking punch you in the face, you big dick. Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. Okay, maybe maybe that's not the right way to be going about doing that. Oh, what the hell? I got my ammo back. Yeah, you're about to get beamed. Damn. Roscafi, you just got absolutely annihilated. Jeez. Oh, you love to see that, man. You love to see that. Still a reload, but... Oh! Hey, my guy got shattered. He got shattered and shot on. Uh, I've just noticed I actually have enough to be able to do the tier 4 damage upgrade. Wee! And I'm going to do a spin real quick as well. Come on. Right. Still only a 60 round mag. Damn it. I want the good good. I want to get my hands on like a 100 round mag or something. I don't even know if it's possible. I'm just assuming it is. But the damage on this gun is still really good. It's just beaming them. If we can fix the ammo issue, like to like a fast mag, higher mag count, 
I, th I think we will be putting this gun up there with the M16. I really do. Quick, now's my chance, now's my chance, now's my chance, now's my chance. Okay, all right. Okay, we got 82. Spin it. Okay, reload. Nothing. Spin it. Okay, reload. 60. 72? No, that's less than last time. I had 88 before. Reload. Nothing. And again. Reload. No, what the hell? What the hell is this? Hell no. I'm not having it. Reload. 60. Oh, my God. Uh, no, it's not working out. What? What? What is this scope? How do I zoom out? Oh my god. Does this make it any better for hip fire? Probably not. Oh! I only just realized I can actually go for the third upgrade. So let's max out this beautiful weapon. The Carvomatic. Not maxed out with the tear damage, but back a punch. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I really do not want this sniper. Oh, how far can I... Z oh, my God. Wait, what? Wait, zoom me out. Zoom me out. Zoom me out. Say, how far can I actually zoom in with this thing? I feel like I'm playing that mobile Hitman game. Oh, this is... No, this is ba bad news. Why would you ever need this on a zombies map? Even for like doing Easter eggs, you just use a sniper rather than putting this on your AR. If you don't zoom in, it is kind of freaky to play like this. Because look, you can outwalk the zombies. And you can pretty much always get headshots on the zombies. Because look, it just goes wherever you shoot. I, I am officially naming this gun. Not the, the carve or whatever it's called. I'm calling it the beam machine. All right. Some techers are good, some techers are bad. And this thing is the beam machine. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Round 27, we have got a thousand scrap. Let's go and get an upgrade on this bitch. I, I upgraded the scope and I got this one. Wasn't too happy with it, but tier five damage. We've got the Carvomatic now maxed out. For some reason, it's not one beaming dogs. It should be one beaming dogs like you saw there. And it's time to keep spinning the wheel of fortune. 72. Do you know what? I feel like this is the best we're going to get this gun. So I'm just going to keep it with this. And it's time to just get honest. This gun. Is it good? Yeah. What's the downside to it? I feel like the ammo mag isn't big enough. That may change if you can actually put on like the 55 round fast mag. But the thing is, I'm sure I should get it. By just spinning this, I should be able to click reload and it go over 100. It may be because I've just simply not like unlocked the amount. Like 88 seems to be the highest we keep getting. And if that's the highest it can go, it just doesn't make it as viable as the M16. The M16's got so much ammo in it compared to this 88 round mag. But again, I might just be wrong. But yeah, the gun, it feels good. Its rate of fire is really good. It's not very good in, like, close quarter combat situations, which is... I think it's normal for attack rifle or, a bur you know, a burst weapon, but... Is it fun to use? Yeah and no. The way I would say Treyarch should have done this gun, they should make it fully automatic, and this gun would be a hell of a lot of fun to no, use. Just like the old school gun, like the G11 or the G18 or whatever it was, or the G8. I don't know, there's, there's been a lot of guns in a lot of games over the years. I think they could have made it fully automatic and I would have enjoyed it so much more. If I was giving it a rating out of 10 right now, it's powerful, it's damaging. Like the M16 already exists, so like, did we need this? Like, was this a viable gun to then not get fully automatic when you pack a punched it? No. So I'd probably give it like a 6.5 out of 10. The fun factor of it isn't there because it reloads really slow. Like, you run out of ammo extremely fast. Yeah, you do a lot of damage. But, like, you got to balance the damage and the fun factor. So, yeah, I'd say, like, 6.5. 6.5 out of 10. What would make it probably an 8 or an 8.5 out of 10 is if it was fully automatic. If it was fully automatic, it would be so much fun. And I truly do not understand why they wouldn't do that. But, yeah, let's get an exfil going and see how we can perform on that task. Just a quick note to interject. Uh, I do think I actually managed to get the faster rate of fire and damage barrel on it. As you can see on some of these shots, I'm actually doing like 8,000 on a first headshot. 
does make a little bit of difference, obviously, the amount of damage that you're doing. But yeah, it's still not going to change my score. 6.5 out of 10. It is what it is. All right, level 30. Let's get an X fill going. I'm going to buy a monkey just in case. And I'm actually not going to buy anything else. I'm going to try and see how we can get on with this. But it's time for an X fill. The Carvomatic. Oh my God, there's bloody loads of them. How is it going to hold up? Let's get that bad boy down. Let's focus on the big boy. Because he is our priority at 101. Whoa. Kicking 10 the shit out of me. Monkey bomb just absolutely slapped them. Beautiful. Keep her going. Keep them going. I'll pick up the uh, the stun grenade. Go for a few more kills. Kill 750 with the gun whilst it's pack a bunch. Things you love to see. Oh, wait. I have got my ring of fire. All right, let's do it. Ah, say hello to my little friend. Oh, my God. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. What the fuck? Ah! Hey, they were kicking my ass. I right, got focus on the heavy. Oh, well, he's dead. Damn. Straight beaming. Straight beaming, my son. That held up pretty good, man. It held up pretty good. Good. Let's try and crash the game. I always try and do... Damn it! <laughs> I was trying to buy an M16 off the wall. Well done. Captain Price, we're so proud of you. So proud of you. Even though every five seconds he sounds like he was trying to, like, hump a zombie's face. Yeah. It is what it is. There you go. Round 30, successful X-Fill. 6.5 out of 10 for this new weapon. Is it something you're going to use all the time? No. Will it be a bit of fun to use in something like Warzone or multiplayer? Yes. Um, once you've got it unlocked in zombies and you've leveled it up, you probably won't use it again over the weapon like the M16. So, bit of a shame. It's not fully automatic. I know I sound like I'm just beating the drum of, like, why isn't it fully automatic? But just like, imagine if that eight, if that 88 round mag, even though it's not as much ammo as the M16 does, you know, like maxed out. Imagine if it was fully automatic, it would just change everything and you'd just be able to beam up on those zombies. So yeah, we, hey mate, we killed a good amount of zombies with it. We got a good amount of attachments for it. Wow. Can't believe I've got to get all the way to like level 50, you know, to unlock the, like, it's just, it's just unbelievable. But yeah. Overall, 6.5, it is what it is. Guys, let me know in the comments what you want me to review next. Whether it's the, the 20 millimeter shitty sniper rifle, the ballistic knife with some homies, or some things like that. Just let me know what you think, and uh, we'll give it a go. Don't forget, make sure you click that subscribe button, ding on the notification bell, leave a like rating, and if you do want to, like I said at the start of the video, stay involved with the secret project that I'm working on in my real life, like home and world and all that sort of stuff. It's like Minecraft in real life, basically. Subscribe to my vlogging channel down below. I'm posting like every so often vlogs there and it's going really well and I'm really enjoying it and you might enjoy the content. So until next time guys, much love. Adios.